Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this is actually for my dad. I uh, picked this up for him because he keeps losing his knives. I'll talk about that in a second. The unboxing knife is the Curtis Custom Knives F3. This is the medium three and a quarter inch blade uh, Warney with the non-flipper. Uh, really cool knife. I actually dig it a lot. Um, it's just a little bit too right-handed, so getting any pressure on that lock bar just doesn't work. You have to climb down here, which works, but you sort of inherently end up adding lock stick because you're shoving the lock bar over as it flips out, and you just can't naturally put your finger where you want to. So um for that reason i just can't justify it being this expensive right so i already have it basically sold to a dude on reddit he's like i don't know he paid me some now and he's paying the rest later so or in a couple days so that should be fine anyway uh i just thought of this i haven't used this other than to cut paper maybe i should not open it with this because i'm selling it so i will use the Avant, which is in my pocket and I've been carrying. And guys, I gotta say, this knife, um, I enjoyed the prototype, but I did say in the review of it that it wasn't like my favorite design ever. Um, it has seriously grown on me since getting it now. I put skiffs in it. I mean, look at this action. Uh, it is so lightweight, and yet you have, you know, almost three and a half inches of M390. It just is very useful. The hollow grind is ridiculous. Uh, a couple things I wish. I wish it had a ting like the prototype, but we were obviously told that wasn't going to happen or may not happen. And um, I wish the tip was a little lower or maybe even it was just a tanto. It would have been cool if this was a tanto, but it's more like a Japanese tanto. So those two things personally I would like. Obviously, I didn't design the knife, so it doesn't matter, but I just wanted to point that out. So this package is from, what am I doing? Which side does this open from? Super weird. Cut around here, let's just do this. So uh, last year or a year and a half ago or so, I picked up a CRKT Piet, uh, or Piet, however you wanna say it. And uh, it just wasn't for me. Um, it was a little, I think it was just a little too right-handed can't remember exactly if it had a reversible clip or not or what the deal was with that. But I remember just not, you know, loving it. It's FRN and 8CR. I mean, it was, I don't know when that came out, but it was kind of early on in my uh, channel, if I even had a channel. It might have been the year before that. Uh, might have been 2020. So, uh, early 2020. So, anyway, I gave it to my dad because I was trying to get my dad into knives, like, you know, you, when you're a knife guy, you want to share it with family and stuff. And uh, he's always like, put your knife away, Kev. And, you know, uh, so I gave it to him and he carried it in his bag every day. And when he needed it, he used it, but he lost it because he, he takes it out and he uses it to cut something. And then he puts it down on the table or wherever and he forgets it. You know what I mean? So um, he he lost it. So then he bought another one. <laughs> just the same one i was like just get the same knife if you liked it right so we got the same one and they recently went on a trip to arizona for a month they went out there for the winter sort of um and he lost that one so i was looking on a live stream i think it was during on the edge last week i was trying to find him a knife where i had just thought of a good idea he's a huge golfer right at like avid golfer and uh i just realized this light is all right. Uh, he's an avid golfer, and I just figured this would be a cool gift. So there's this knife called the Golfer's Knife. I think it's called the Wichita, designed by Eric Oaks, and it has, like, golf tools built in, yet it has, like, a, a 9CR blade, which would be fine for him, right? Um, so I bought one for him. And turns out... I go over to my parents every day after work, and I bring my kid over. She hangs out with her grandparents for a little bit. It's fun for everybody, right? Well, he's packing up his stuff. He's going on a golf trip tomorrow. I didn't even know. He'll be gone for the weekend. And I'm like, dude, your knife showed up. Like, 
but I wanted to do an unboxing. So, you know, let me go do the unboxing. I'll drive it over tonight. So I'm going to drive this over to them. They live like two minutes away. But um, I wanted to unbox it because I think it's a cool knife. So this is the Wichita. Let me put the Avant away. Uh, Coyote G10. I, I, I had a trouble deciding on the color. Blue, red, I don't know. I think most people would like a subdued color, I think. So we're going to go with that. Uh, Wichita Coyote. This was like 100 bucks. It was like $95. And then it was like 10 bucks for shipping. Um, so we're going to see how the presentation is. And so far, it's pretty good. I didn't think it was going to come with this. I thought it was just going to be like a budget knife situation. Um, there's a card in here. I can't get it. There we go. So Eric Oaks designed this. He's obviously the guy be behind Oaks Works. I love the Osprey EDX he came out with recently. Uh, here is a warranty type situation. Here is their um, card. Certificate of Authenticity. Um, perfect. Designed in Sherwood, Oregon by Eric Oaks. It's obviously not made in Oregon. Here's a really cool sticker. That's a dope ass sticker. I love that it's a gopher because it's like perfect. If you guys have seen Caddyshack, uh, groundhogs and shit. Cool pouch. I'm going to try to figure out who made it. Um, and we'll see. So far I'm getting, uh, we Savivi vibes from it. So it's kind of heavy, but it's got tools. So we're going to see here. So let me put all this away other than the sticker. I don't know if Eric Oaks is somehow like uh, part owner of this company or what, but they make cool golf related stuff. And here it is. So it's got a hole for deployment. It actually, um, they have one with thumb studs as well. It actually has a titanium deep carry clip. Not deep. Oh, never mind. That's steel. But it looks like titanium. Damn. So you can finish steel to look just like tie. That's crazy. Um, so it looks like a tie back. So it's all steel, I guess. Um, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is really screaming Wee Civivi to me. I know it's weird to say that, but like that's just what I'm getting right now. Wee Civivi out of it, okay? Not that it matters. Um, golfers, there's this thing right here. So let's give it a flick. Let's see what happens. So liner lock. Ooh! What? We got liftoff, baby. Holy shnikes. Okay. So you've got, it's a flat ground blade, but I mean, it's enough blade, right? 9CR, it's got a good edge on it. We can test it here. Yeah, very good edge. Whew. I like 9CR, guys. I am for sure a fan of 9CR. And if he ever needs it sharpened, I should be able to knock this out on my TS Prof, baby. Still haven't used that more than once, but whatever. Um says Wichita right here and Eric Oaks design. They're really pimping that Eric Oaks design. He is a custom knife maker, so it's kind of smart. Um, I like how it's just a knife. So it's not crazy drop shut, which I think is good, right? Because non-knife people are going to buy this and you don't want it to drop shut. You know what I mean? You want to be able to slow roll it. Action is really good, guys. Would you hear that? Hold on. It tings, baby. Oh, suck it, Lift Concepts. You can't give me a ting. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'll get my ting elsewhere. That's hilarious. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what these tools are. So I like that it's dead center. Man, this thing's well made. I like that it um, has the knife as the main sort of thing going on here. There's no, I thought it had a divot tool and it does. Look at this. It's built into the scale. So it's not, it's not like a, um, it's not like a uh, slip joint or whatever. We have two tools built into the liner. They did a good job at that because I hate when they do that. It just takes away from the action on both of them. So what they did here was they just added it to the liner. You just pop it in like that, open it like this. It doesn't lock in place or anything, but I'm sure you just, you know, hold it like this. 
you can oh yeah you just hold it with your finger on this side and do your divot stuff and then close it down works just fine there's a bottle opener back here built into the backspacer it makes perfect sense if you're on the golf course and then this is actually a magnet so how are you just oh no way that'd be cool ah that would have been cool if you could push this and it popped out there's no spot to get the magnet out do you push how are you supposed to get it out I'm confused. You just... Normally you push or something and it would come out, right? Slide up, slide down, anything, nothing. It's just stuck in there. So hang on a second. All right, you see this cutout right here? So you're supposed to be able to push it down on that side. There you go. So you got to push down right here, and then it pops out. So I just had to figure it out first. It's not that hard. I wish they would have made the area a little bit bigger. You know, that hole a little bit bigger so that you could access it. You know what I mean? Maybe it's just my fat fingers, but I can't do it very easily. I guess it's not bad. Just got to know where to push. It's okay. And you could put, honestly, any ball mark there you want as long as it fits that spot and it's metal. You know? It's a good magnets, dude. Really good magnets. I can feel it from there. Watch. See how close we can get. Yeah. Good. Cool. That's dope. And then there's this thing, which I think is just a screw, right? That's not tied in anything. They do have little washers. They have little washers around the uh, divot tool. See those in there? I don't know if you can see them, but I can. I like that it has that. That's really cool. The G10 isn't the best quality, but good grip. It works well. Um, I think those are all the tools. And then it has a cool clip. I mean, that's a good clip, honestly. Uh, I'm impressed, guys. And you can slow roll it. The D10 on this thing is money. Like, really good. Uh, Ergos, great. Great in hand. Now, obviously, you got the this thing right here. I'm feeling a little bit. Let's feel it right-handed. Yeah, you still feel that a little bit, but you're not doing heavy use with this. Oh, you hold it back here. You don't even feel it, though. And then, obviously, you have the bottle open. That's an Eric Oaks thing. He likes that. Um, but this is good. I mean, for normal, everyday stuff that my dad's going to do, disengage action is solid. Is it on washers or bearings? Looks like it's on bearings. I feel like that's a bit of a miss. Um, you know, the, a knife like this is probably going to get dirt in it if you're going to be using a divot tool and whatnot. I think washers makes more sense uh, in the long run. But I think, guys, overall for 95 bucks, and I don't know what they sell for on their website, but uh, I saw them at Arizona Custom Knives. That's where I got this. And I saw them at Blade Bar. Uh, both of them charge like 12 bucks for shipping. So I paid 109 I think that's totally worth it. Um, especially for that Ting, dudes. Yeah, this is really cool. I am uh, really impressed. If I have any other like golf buddies or anything like that, this is definitely the knife I'm getting them to try to get them into knives. <laughs> Divot tool. I wish this locked somehow. That would be cool, I think. But... If you are a smart person, you just put your pressure on this side and you're pushing again, you know what I mean, onto that. And it's sturdy enough. It's going to go into the, you know, grass and shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Damn, I can't get over that detent. Literally, if they can get a detent perfect on a knife like this, there's really no excuse for other knives. You know what I mean? So... 
Uh, my gut reaction says this is made by uh, Wee Civivi, but I have no idea. It could be somebody completely different. Just has that feel to it. Um, is it the screws? I don't know why I'm feeling that. Like here is uh, my stinger. Yeah, it has nothing like it. I don't know. I don't know why I think that. I don't have anything from them in G10 or anything, so I can't really compare. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That is the Golfers Wichita, guys. I am not going to review it because it's not mine. It's going to my dad right now, so he can go on his golf trip. But if you have golf buddies or your dad or yourself or whatever, and you're interested in this at all, I'd say it's 100% worth it for what you get. Uh, this is the coolest knife guy golf tool you can get. You know what I mean? Uh, and trying to get people into knives, I think it's genius. It comes in a stud version if you want studs as well. So uh, let's check lockup real quick, and then we can uh, close it out. Yeah, lockup's good. Uh, blade play? None. Rock solid. And you can access the pivot from down here. If I ever figure out how to just do this there. Um, you can access the pivot right there. So, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I dig it. Gophers, baby. Golfers, sorry. I uh, hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Let me know what you think in the comments of this guy. Um, you could probably tune this bitch, too. Maybe put some skiffs in there. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later. All right. So, like father, like son... I just drove the golfer's knife over to my parents to give it to my dad. He's leaving on his golf trip tomorrow, and he pretty much hates it. So I don't have it here. He kept it, but uh, he doesn't think the pouch is useless. He thinks it's useless. He's like, you could trash this. To me, as a knife guy, this is cool, right? Because I like having extra pouches around, so I'm like, I'll take it if you're going to trash it, right? He hated the weight. He thought it was way too heavy. So they should have, I mean, I guess trying to keep costs down, but I think they overpriced it to begin with. But they should have done titanium on the clip and the backspacer. That was all steel weighing it down, right? Um, then the ball mark, he was like, I, he couldn't get it out. Like, I struggled with it, right? Once I got there, I was like, this is how you, and I was doing it over and over. And, like, he couldn't get it. My mom couldn't get it. They just couldn't get the magnet out. They didn't really get it. I don't know why they didn't put a little cutout somewhere around it so you could get your finger in and just pop it off, right? They did it where you have to push down in this terrible area. They really need to rethink that. Um, the divot tool not locking, I think, kind of bugged him a little bit. Like, I guess you just put pressure in the right spot, but he's like, eh. Um, and then he's like, there's a bottle opener? I'm like, yeah. So he thought the knife part was awesome, but like at that point, I should have just got him a knife that was way cheaper. This thing is a hundred bucks with nine CR. I can get M390 for that in some places, like my Ashers. So, uh, man, uh, that was a failure, <laughs> I guess. Um, you know, we'll see what he thinks after you know taking it on his trip. But he's like, I'm not gonna take this golfing like. Uh, it'll be my new knife, but like, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna throw it in my bag like normal. I'm not gonna put it in my pocket when I golf. It's too heavy. And then it doesn't, I can't actually get the ball mark out. So now I need another ball mark in my pocket that I carry anyway. So what's the point? All right. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that feedback because that's an actual like avid golfer's opinion. You know, that means more. So it's a great idea on paper. And it's a great idea to people gifting it to their family or whatever. But it's starting to seem like it's more of a gimmick than it is an actual, like, good product, if that makes sense. But um, if I get an update from him after this trip or after a while, I'll obviously let you know. Uh, if he still hates it after the trip, I might just tell him, like, hey, yeah, I'll take it back and I'll give it away to you guys. And I'll, I'll just get him a cool knife. You know what I mean? Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know. So thanks. Love you guys. Peace.